hello students so we are starting with structure analysis 1 and in this we are starting with a very easy subject comparatively easy topic three hinged arches okay so three hinged arches as the name suggest it has three hinges okay so we are going to see it in detail but here from net i got this diagrams okay or this pictures where we can see the practical examples of three hinged arches so here in this you can see a diagram uh, a picture where this part is showing hinge here okay and here in this particular picture we can see hinge over here and hinge supports okay so three hinged arches you know it's a determinate structure basically structural analysis one this particular subject focuses on all determinate structures and structural analysis two it mostly focuses on all indeterminate structures so mostly uh, these two subjects are like this but uh, there may be slight change uh, as per the demand of your particular university so coming to the introduction part of this three hinged arches so arches you know it's a very fascinating and uh, interesting topic uh, like in your third semester you might have studied a simple beam right a beam a simply supported beam where we can see that beam is loaded with a a particular beam suppose let us call it as simply supported beam now this beam is loaded here uh, i am considering a simple point load okay so because of this b uh, loading beam is bending in this way okay so that is how because of load the beam is bending like this and our bending moment diagram will be like this okay our, our bending moment diagram will be like this so in this case uh, we can see some bending moment wherever load is there bending moment will act in that case but arches you know arches uh, they are amazing they serve the greater purpose how so whenever there are large spans okay whenever there are large spans where we cannot actually construct such beams because it it may become very expensive and it may not serve the purpose so here i can show you a very uh, you know a interesting example so whatever now if you are writing uh, uh, this notes on a sim uh, uh, any copy or a page so just do this experiment at home just hold a paper okay just hold a paper in your hand and it is straight okay just hold it straight so as soon as you try to hold this paper okay as soon as you try to hold this paper this paper uh, when you hold it at one end this paper will have a tendency to bend okay it will easily uh, bend like this the paper will bend like this okay now this is one thing now what i am asking you just what you do you know for the same particular paper just give a small curve here okay make a small uh, curve and then hold it like this okay now just your hand is here okay so now just try to hold this curve here and surprisingly you will see that as soon as the arch is forming and this particular paper is able to carry on its own when you are holding at one end but in this particular case when you are holding and leaving this part just like that it will easily bend but when you give the curve okay when you give the curve shape it can hold it on its own so that is a wonderful and simple example at home you can check so that's how arches are capable to take more uh, load so as soon as a structure get a arch shape it can carry a more load so what are the arches okay arches are they are the curved beams and they transfer loads to their planes and whereas the beams as we have seen they are the horizontal members and they transfer load to the support by bending and shear action okay so we have already studied in our uh, second year that each and every point because of the load each and every point there is bending and shear happening okay so arches where are they are the uses like uh, i have told just now that they we can uh, they can be used in bridges okay wherever there is a need to for large spans okay but we cannot use beams because they can become uneconomical and they will not be suitable 
So uh, here in case of three hinge arches, we can see that there is a hinge support. Okay, there are two hinge supports over here and there is one hinge in between. Okay, so the hinge part, we call it as here crown. It's a crown and the height, okay, from the support to the crown, whatever height is there, we call it as rise and total span. This is total length is total span. Okay, we measure it like this. Now, types of arches. Okay, so there are basically three types of arches. So we can see here the types of uh, first type is two hinge arch. Okay, so here we can see one hinge support here and there is one more hinge support here. So what is happening? If you see the reactions, there will be one reaction here, one reaction here, one reaction here, one reaction here. So when we see our equilibrium equations, okay, so we can see that there are reactions four reactions are there and when there are four unknowns these cannot be a determinate structure okay it is not a determinate so this is you will study it later so three in, uh, in this topic type of arches this becomes a indeterminate structure okay so this is three hinge charge so here there are two reactions here Again, there are two reactions because of hinge support, okay? But there is a hinge. So when we separate this while solving our equation, we, we can solve this particular arch with three equilibrium equations. That is, what are the three equilibrium equations? Summation of forces in x direction is equal to zero. Summation of forces in y direction is zero. And summation of moments, okay? So these three equations we uh, calculate and uh, we solve and then we can find out the reactions. Now third type of arch is fixed arch. Okay. So for this fixed arch, we can see that it's a fixed support. So it will have vertical reaction, horizontal reaction and uh, it can carry moment also. Okay. So this is a, a third and this is also not determinate. Okay. It's a indeterminate. So not in the scope of our current syllabus. So coming to Types of three hinged arches. Okay, so in this also there are two types of three hinged arches. So one is circular arch and one is parabolic arch. Okay, so circular arch you can see a circular shape. Okay, and this is three hinged only, and this is parabolic arch, a parabolic shape. So basically there are two types of three hinged arches. Okay, so three hinged arches are of basically two types: parabolic and circular arch and we have their separate equations so coming to the circular arch now here is a circular arch we can see okay so for this particular arch circular arch so let us just make a full circle okay just to understand it now let's name this arch so arch a b and c okay so here in this case we can see uh, a and B are supports, okay, and C is its crown and it's a hinge, okay, hinge is there here. Now, let us consider a point here, okay, it's the origin of the circle and this is R, okay, this is R is a radius. Now, L by 2 is a, and L by 2 is a span, okay, our arch is uh, till this point only, it's not a half circle okay it's a circular arch but a c b is only this part okay it's not a, a half circle so it's a some part of the circle now here we can see that from the property of a circle the radius r of the circular arch of okay from the property of a circle the radius r of the circular arch of span l and rise h so uh, we can find out with this particular equation okay so this is the equation from the property of circle that when this l by 2 okay this total length is l by 2 okay when this is l by 2 into l by 2 is equal to height into when this particular part is height okay height is nothing but only this portion this is height okay then the remaining part 2r by uh, 2r minus h okay so we see that l by 2 
okay this is l by 2 from here to here l by 2 into l by 2 is equal to h into 2r minus h okay so we get the equation number 1 so from this equation we can find out r is equal to l square by 8h plus h by 2 so we get equation number 2 now we consider let us consider origin at support a now let us uh, consider any point d okay now we want to see what is that you know if we consider any point d any at anywhere in the arch okay any point d so what is that distance x and y we will get okay how to find out that if we want to consider d can be here 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 anywhere so anywhere on the arch if any point d we consider then what is the way okay what are the formulas to find out x and y distance okay so when we consider let us consider for this particular case origin a and the coordinates at any point d okay so what is for this particular d point what is x and y how to calculate so we get x as l by 2 okay this l by 2 distance l by 2 minus r sin theta okay l by 2 minus r sin theta and the y distance okay this y distance this y distance is r sin theta minus r minus h okay so how to calculate this r uh, y, y distance so it is r sin theta minus r minus h because okay this particular y distance if you just consider a, a straight line here so here this is particular r distance we get so this is also r we know this is also r so if we just draw a straight line here okay so then we can find out uh, when we substitute r minus h so finally we get y equals to h minus r into 1 minus cos theta so there is a small slight mistake here this is not sine this is r cos theta sorry okay r cos theta minus r minus h so finally we get y equals to h minus r into 1 minus cos theta so that is how we get a distance y distance okay now coming to parabolic arch for a parabolic arch considering the springing point means these points okay so when we consider these points so for a parabolic arch now for when the shape is of parabola then when you consider any point d okay when you consider any point d on the arch so what is that how to calculate that y distance so we should know that whenever you are given any question is given that this particular at any point d we have to find out whatever you know uh, we have to find out moments so for that case we should know what is this y distance so y is nothing but you, are, you should remember this formula it is 4 h x by l square into l minus x okay so this is for the uh, parabolic equation so here coming to the now if the uh, crown is taken as the origin okay now for the parabola if the crown is taken as the origin then in that case the equation of the parabolic curve okay if the crown is taken as the origin suppose if this is considered as the origin then the equation of parabolic curve will be uh, then it will be x square by y is equal to a and in this case a is constant okay so x square by y is equal to a in that case uh, it will be constant and when this uh, uh, if this uh, springing points are at same uh, same level or at uh, if it is at different level so for that particular case suppose if this point springing points uh, at same level or a different level for, so for that case uh, we will soon consider a uh, separate in separate class uh, we can consider the uh, whenever those springing points are at different level but when the springing points are at same level okay now this uh, here in this particular case this is at same level so in this case uh, how to uh, go for the x and y distance suppose uh, what will be the distance here for this particular case if we consider this is already uh, anyway it is given as h so this 
so this is our x okay and if this is y so if if we consider crown as a origin in the in that case then uh, we will get x equals to l by 2 and y will be equal to h because it is at the crown so y is nothing but h in this case so then our equation will become l square by 4h is equal to a then in this case uh, our equation will become, I am writing at the side, then our equation will become x square by y is equal to l square by 4h, okay. So, in this case means where this supports, springing points means nothing but the supports. So, when they are at the same level, then our equation becomes like this and when they are at different level, then our equation changes okay if they are at different levels so that we will cover in our next topic so i hope you understood uh, this particular class so here in this particular class we understood the basics of very basics of what is uh, what is three hinged arch okay what is three hinged arch we we saw the this uh, diagrams uh, what are the three hinged arches then uh, what are the different parts of the arches okay and how the arches are so effective and what are the types and uh, what uh, how this uh, two hinged arches they are indeterminate okay three uh, two hinged arch and fixed arches they are indeterminate whereas this three hinged arch it's a determinate arch and the reasons behind that that we have uh, learned then coming to the types of uh, three hinged arches so that they, there is a circular arch and parabolic arch so that we have seen then uh, what are the formulas for circular arch okay so how to what is the formula what is r okay what is the radius of circular arch that we should know and then what is that at any point d what are the coordinates x and y for the particular circular arch that we have considered and coming to the parabolic arch that when two supports are at same level so in that case how to find out that particular y distance okay so we have covered this uh, basic things of uh, three hinged arches over in this class okay i hope you understood uh, thank you